What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here today to chat about this Tops MVP buyback program. Wasn't planning on originally doing a video today. Was going to take the day off for a little extended holiday break, but uh, this popped up actually right before Thanksgiving. I just didn't have a chance to talk about it, so I figured I had a little time. Let's go ahead and knock this out today. For those that are not aware, this is a program that Tops rolled out involving 2022 Tops Chrome. If you have a Paul Goldschmidt card or Aaron Judge only for 2022 Tops Chrome, you can take those cards in to a participating LCS and cash them in for store credit. Uh, there is on the Tops website, there is a store locator that will allow you to see if any of your local stores are participating in this program. If they are not, Dave and Adams and Blowout are via mail-in. And then there is escalations depending on the card that you're turning in. You can see here, $20 for base, $40 for a refractor, $100 for anything numbered over 100, and $200 for anything numbered under 100. Few other little disclaimers. Uh, stores can technically cut this off if they so choose at any point, but there is no hard limit, uh, is what this says. No plans on what Tops is going to do with the cards yet, though it says they have something in store for them. So I don't know if these are going to be used as buybacks later or on card autos or what they're going to end up doing with them. Uh, but it says that they do have plans to use them for something. So Top's reasoning for this is to generate essentially a give back to LCSs to essentially generate business and get people into the door uh, because they're going to be going in, turning these in. I assuming Top's is subsidizing all this. So that goes to store credit to the shops that people will spend in there to buy more product, uh, whether it's Top's product or not, who knows? I, I'm assuming they can use it on anything that they want. Like I said, we don't know the full details on exactly how the reimbursement all works from a shop perspective, but it's a way to inject money into the ecosystem, essentially. The other thing, uh, you know, that this kind of did, they put this up on, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday when this released. And then yesterday, Tops, I think it was yesterday on Thanksgiving itself, they put up their Topps Chrome light boxes for sale. Uh, those are the ones, those those had this uh, SPs in them, so there's no silver pack required for those ones. And for those that don't remember, let's, let's also keep in mind, Topps Chrome this year was an absolute nightmare. It was one of the most bungled products in recent memory. One, they just completely screwed over the checklist big time, like huge screwed over the checklist on Topps Chrome, not having the full rookie class in there. On top of that, there were supposed to be short prints of some of the key rookies in there. Those got left out. Uh, and then there was the whole thing with that nonsense where they just forgot to put them in there. And then there was the whole, we're going to do silver packs after the fact. And then the whole distribution on that that they kind of threw on the LCSs and the breakers, et cetera, to kind of figure out. The Topps Chrome light boxes had the SPs in them. So Topps makes this announcement and then puts a bunch of this product on sale on their website because this builds in a pretty good floor for that product. You know, you're talking about a, a Goldschmidt and Judge base card, which in the past would be a $1 card. On a $60 light box, or $65 light box, I think they were on the sale price. If you pull one of those out of there, you've paid for two thirds of, or a third of the box just off some random base card that you're going to go get $20 in store credit to go buy a future product. Pretty smart marketing on their standpoint. And it's a way for them to kind of move through cause demand for 2022 Tops Chrome that they probably have a boatload of sitting around because of how bungled that the whole launch was. So from Top's angle, it's a way to throw some money into the system because of the 20 bucks going to the LCS. So it's a look good 
for the LCSs and probably a make good to them for how they screwed them over on the initial release of Topps Chrome and the whole silver pack debacle. It now all of a sudden drives a bunch of demand for 2022 Topps Chrome, which was a product that they were having problems moving because of all this nonsense. Now, all of a sudden, people are kind of chasing boxes of that if they're discounted because, yeah, you have a chance to pull some stuff out of there. You could get, uh, you know, some autos and stuff like that. There is some decent stuff in there, but they really gutted that product with a checklist. Now, all of a sudden, there's a little extra juice in that box. If, if you hit a, a, a Goldschmidt or Judge Refractor off a light box, you paid for two thirds of it, let alone a full hobby box. So there's a lot of little interesting angles here to take on this one. Overall, as a collector, it's a net good. Like we kind of benefit here. Like there's really no downside to us. You know, your $1 base card suddenly just turned into $20 bills and your $3 refractor suddenly turned into $40 refractors. And from an LCS perspective, it's going to get people in the door. It's going to get store credit in people's hands that they are going to use to eventually probably buy more wax, most likely. Um, I don't think they would use it to buy singles. Maybe you can. I don't know. Most LCSs don't have a great singles selection outside of a couple, at least in my area. So you would use that to buy more wax. And, you know, Tops is probably hoping that maybe you buy Tops wax with it. But if not, I think their initial is is driving demand towards 2022 Tops Chrome. So an interesting little marketing piece here. Tops slash Fanatics, I guess seems to be kind of ramping some things up here recently. We just saw them earlier this week partner with SGC for the $9 grading for 2022 Bowman Chrome. And now we are seeing this buyback program. Like I said, you could probably go tinfoil hat and pick this thing apart somewhere if you really want to. But from a collector standpoint, everything they've done this week seems pretty good. Hopefully this is kind of a spotlight into things they may do in the future, kind of like interesting marketing perspectives as a way to drive business to stores and also generate buzz around their product. And this runs until I think the end of March of 2023. So you have some time here. This isn't like a, I need to run and do this right now. I have no idea how much this is going to cost them paying out this. Uh, it's probably all coming out of a marketing budget or something. Who knows from an accounting standpoint. But like I said, kind of wins all around here and and kind of a cool move by Tops to be quite honest. Once again, I'm sure there's some angle here where they where you know the evil empire uh is pulling a fast one on us, but honestly, this just seems kind of good. Like seems really good actually. You know, it, it, it's, I'm I'm trying to like see the cynical take here and i really don't know that i see one uh it's a win for us as collectors it's a win for lcs's uh and it's win for tops because they get to move a bunch of product that people were kind of met on to begin with uh and like i said there's some decent stuff you could pull out of there but generally speaking it was kind of a a missed product uh, in my opinion or i shouldn't say a missed product it just had a bunch of negative press around it because of the whole silver pack nonsense so that's what's going on. If you already opened a bunch of Topps Chrome 2022, go dig through your comments box and try to find this stuff and then see uh, what local LCS for you is covered. Maybe go buy some product if it's discounted to rip some. Who knows? Uh, but that's all I got for you guys and girls. Curious for your thoughts on this one down below. Catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.